guys welcome back to my channel please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you in this video i'm going to be showing us how to wash and blend our cocoa yams now this cocoa yam this special is used as thickness in soup the first thing we have to do is to remove the hairs from the cocoa yam this reduces the sand and makes your cocoa yam very easy to wash now you have to make sure that you remove all the hairs from each cocoa yam but if you can't just make sure you remove most of the hairs because it's very it makes it easy to wash now look at all the hairs i got from this one now the first thing we'll do after this is to put in water in our stainless pot and then put in the cocoa yam i love using stainless pot to wash my cocoa yam this is because it makes it easy for the sand to settle down in the water so this is me washing it you have to wash it and then you single it out one um you single it out batch by batch now look at the sand that we got from our first washing we have to do this again repeat the processes again until you get a clean water or you won't see sand um, underneath the water so guys this is what we're looking for now i'm using my pressure pot but if you can if you don't have you can use your normal pot and cook this all we want is for it to be very very soft and so it will be easy to blend this is how it's looking guys so if it's easy to remove the back and it's very soft then it's perfect this is me removing the back and you can see the edit hey, the cocoa yam is very soft hey, there is cocoa yam <laughs> it's very soft so you are good to go so remove the bags of this one after the other and then keep it aside for it to cool down a bit before we use our blender but if you don't have blender you can use a mortar and pistol and pound this is going to take a while so let me go and come back guys this is our egg day all fresh and ready to blend so the first thing I do is to put water inside my blender before putting in the cocoa yam. So I'll put in the cocoa yam. While putting it, I'll just use my hand and if if there are some hard ones in there, I'll try and use my hand to crush them a bit before putting it into the blender. This I'll add in more water. What we're trying to do here is to get our base. We want it to be very liquid. So with this um liquid now we are going to be adding in more cocoa yam these are your you have to do it if you're using a blender that you're not sure of and then you use the pause um option you just pause let it rest pause again let it rest if you don't have the pause option you can just put this just put it on put it off put it on put it off if you are not really sure of your blender but you think your blender can blend this sorry guys i have cough <laughs> So after getting my paste, I'm going to be adding in more cocoa yam to make this um, very thick. So this is it. This is how I do it, and it's been working for me for like ages. And I'm sharing it with you guys. <laughs> so this is the aftermath, guys. Very nice and creamy. Learn something. Bye bye, <laughs> guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.